Hello, and this is Zoe from No Safer Place. Um, just to let you all know, I do have a cold this week, which is why my voice is going to sound really odd, but I couldn't miss a week. So this is week three of the Zoella Book Club Challenge. And this week I read Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard. And it was amazing. I've never, ever read a book like this before, ever. I mean... It's based so much on friendship, and I've never read a book like that before. The book focuses on Caddy and Rosie and their friendship. Caddy moans that her life is dull and she has no social life whatsoever. She is the complete polar opposite of her best friend, Rosie. Caddy goes to a private school for all girls, and Rosie goes to a mainstream school. It is at this mainstream school where Rosie meets a new girl called Suzanne. Now, Suzanne is very much like Rosie. She is confident and beautiful and gorgeous, lovely, and they become best friends. And Caddy gets really, really jealous. Rosie is spending all her free time with Suzanne now, and Caddy is feeling like she's replaced. And we all know that feeling. We all know the feeling of being replaced and how awful it feels when your best friend gets a new best friend and you don't know how to react because you've never been without them before. I mean, I think it's something that everyone has experienced, in particular girls, because we're quite jealous when our best friend gets a new best friend. Anyway, throughout the book, they become closer and then Caddy becomes closer to Suzanne because she feels like she has to if she wants to see her best friend Rosie. Then, Caddy discovers a secret about Suzanne. Suzanne was abused, and that's why she now lives with her aunt, because she was abused by her stepdad. Then, in an interesting turn of events, Caddy and Suzanne become best friends, and Caddy begins sneaking out to see her, and she starts drinking, and she just starts on this downward spiral, because she's so desperately trying to fit in and make her new friend happy and Suzanne is such a bad influence on her and yeah it's really hard it's really hard to read knowing that someone's gone on this goody two shoes like me to be honest and it's just just seeing them go downward and downward it's or oh, it's hard um the book focuses on mental health and abuse and also self-harm in in quite a lot of depth actually but it somehow still manages to not be a heavy read but as you're reading it, you're thinking, oh, will Caddy's friendship be enough for Suzanne? Because obviously Suzanne is very low, and she's one of those people that tries to overcompensate her confidence, even though she's feeling pretty down inside. But yeah, it's an easy read, and still manages to stay light-hearted, and I don't know how Sarah does it, but she does it amazingly. But yeah, it's a 5 out of 5 for me, as ever. I think... The whole of Zoella Book Club will be 5 out of 5, so I might as well just get that out there now. Now, I've got a few quotes from the book. The first one is... Callie's, Caddy's thoughts on abuse. When I'd heard abuse that very first time I'd found out the truth about Suzanne's past, I'd thought of violence as being something simple. Awful, but simple. A violent man and a child who bore the brunt of it. I hadn't even considered the framework that supported it, allowed it to happen in the first place. The blind eyes turned, the excuses made, the insidious lies whispered into the ear of a child so desperate for love they mistook a gentle tone for truth. I think that says a lot about this book and why Caddy is so desperately trying to make Suzanne happy. And the next quote is Suzanne's thoughts on sadness. No, it's total bullshit. I hate it when people make sadness all deep and beautiful, like... She waved her hands helplessly. Profound. That's the word. It's not profound. It's not beautiful. It sucks. It sucks balls. Now that's the end of this review this week, so if you could give this a thumbs up, or subscribe, I'd be forever grateful. And leave a comment below for what you would like me to read next week, and I'm sorry this one was a bit bleh this week, I just don't feel 100% so hopefully I'll be back on track for next week. Thank you, bye!